Your neighbor called in a suspicious person. Can I see some ID? You know you're innocent. You did nothing wrong, but this is a nerve wracking situation. What should you do? How should you handle this situation to not get yourself into trouble? I'm attorney Andrew Flushi, and this channel is about defending your rights. Subscribe for a new video every other Tuesday. A lot of times we deal in hypotheticals here, but this question actually comes from a reader. Carlos writes, on one occasion on my night off, while at my home at 3 a.m., I work nights. I decided to take a break from fixing my mother-in-law's computer and go for a little walk around the pond in our condominium complex, private property, to clear my head. I left the door open when I left the house and happened to see my next door neighbor having a smoke. I said hello to him and went for my brief stroll. Came back home, and minutes later, someone rang the bell. It was the police. They said my neighbor reported suspicious activity because he didn't recognize me. I told the police that I'd just butch cut my hair that day and that the neighbor was new in the association and barely knew me. They felt visibly embarrassed and left right away. Their behavior was polite and cordial the whole time. What should Carlos do in this situation? Before I get to some tactics that Carlos and you could use in a situation like this, we first need to look at why the police make small talk in the first place and why they may be knocking on your door. They're not just bored. The first reason police may be using small talk is actually investigating. The police may have been called to an area or to respond to a problem, and they may be actually investigating an offense where they believe something has actually occurred. Unfortunately for you and I, the police aren't required to tell us what they're investigating. You might simply be a witness, and you might be needed to help protect the neighbor's property or somebody's life even. Or you may be the suspect of some type of an offense. And unfortunately, a lot of times you simply don't know. The questions that the police may be asking you may seem innocuous or off the wall, but they may be the exact kind of thing that they need to try to pin an offense on you. The next reason the police might be making small talk with you is that they're simply fishing. They may not have any reason to believe something's going on. They may just have a hunch and trying to figure out if there is anything amiss in an area. So there's not any active ongoing investigation. The police are just fishing, trying to see what's happening and asking some questions about what you've been up to or what's happening in your neighborhood. The third reason police make small talk is they use it to check sobriety. A sobriety check might go something like this. Good evening, I stopped you for speeding. May I see your license or registration, please? Where are you headed to this evening? Officer Andy has just asked you to locate your license registration and physically hand them to him, while he's also asked you a mental question about where you're going. This is known as a divided attention test, and they're commonly used by police officers to try to determine if you're sober or maybe under the influence of drugs or alcohol. At the same time, Officer Andy is listening to your speech to see if it sounds slurred or lethargic, and he's likely trying to smell your breath as well. These are all simple sobriety checks that officers are using in many, many simple traffic stops. And finally, one reason the police use small talk is for delaying. Officers have a limited amount of time they're allowed to hold you during a traffic stop or other temporary detention. Sometimes they use small talk to try to buy some time and delay the situation while they're waiting on a backup officer to arrive, or even worse, to wait for the canine unit. It's a blatant violation of your Fourth Amendment rights to delay without a good reason, but officers still do it. Here's my advice to Carlos. Don't answer the door. If there's a knock on the door or your doorbell rings and it's the police and you didn't call them for assistance, simply don't answer the door. If you do answer the door and realize it's the police, you can simply close the door. Carlos could have also offered just a simple response such as, thanks for checking officer, but everything is just fine here. Good night and close the door right then. We don't have to be jerks when flexing our rights. You can simply not engage with police small talk. The second technique is the magic phrase, am I free to leave? This technique is key if the police are engaging in a consensual encounter or if they're even detaining you. By asking if you're free to leave, you're essentially forcing the police officer's hand. He either needs to say, yes, you are free to leave, at which point you know you can just walk away from the situation or drive away in a car carefully, of course. If the officer says, no, you're not free to leave, now you know this is not a consensual encounter. This is what we would call a Terry stop or a temporary detention. In order for the police officer to say no and actually continue to detain you legally anyway, they need to have reasonable suspicion that a crime or traffic infraction has occurred or is occurring. If he doesn't have reasonable suspicion, he needs to tell you, yes, you're free to leave and cut you loose. Otherwise, if you challenge this encounter in court, anything after that point could be thrown out the final technique you can use to avoid police small talk is to simply use an excuse. If you want to try to be nice without simply invoking your right to remain silent and walking away, you can give the officer some kind of excuse, such as, I don't have time to talk right now. In fact, whoever has time to talk to the police? 
Or you could say something like, my lawyer friend advises me not to answer police questions. You're not lying. I'm your lawyer friend and I advise you don't talk to the police. For an even deeper dive into this, check out my next video about how to handle the police knocking on your door. I'll see you over there.